show that limit n tends to infinity this 1 by n is equal to 0 or in other words show that the sequence xn is equal to 1 by n converges to 0. So if xn is any given sequence we can say that xn is converges to l if for every epsilon greater than 0 if there exists a positive integer m positive integer m such that such that the distance between sequence and limit is less than epsilon for every n is greater than or equal to m then we can say that the sequence xn is converges to l or in other words we can say that limit n tends to infinity xn is equal to l now in the given example xn is given xn is equal to 1 by n limit l is equal to 0 and let epsilon greater than 0 be any real number epsilon greater than 0 be any real number now consider here consider the term xn minus l so it is equal to 1 by n minus 0 it is equal to mod of 1 by n it is equal to 1 by n and if we write this term is less than epsilon then then now since since 1 by n is less than epsilon implies n is greater than 1 by epsilon so if we select a positive integer m such that m is greater than 1 by epsilon then 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 the distance between the sequence and the limit is less than epsilon for every n greater than or equal to m m is a positive integer greater than 1 by epsilon and therefore for any epsilon greater than 0 uh, we, uh, we, uh, we can find a positive integer m such that the distance between sequence and limit is less than epsilon and therefore we can say that the sequence xn is equal to 1 by n converges to 0 that is after few terms okay or we can uh, we, want, we can find a m such that after if we take any n which is greater than or equal to m then distance between xn and l is less than epsilon okay for any epsilon greater than 0 and therefore if we, if we are able to find such a positive integer m then we can say that the sequence xn is converges to what l in particular in particular if we take here epsilon is equal to 0.1 then we want to select a positive integer m which is greater than 1 upon epsilon that is 1 by uh, 1 by 0 0.1 that is we want to select a positive integer m which is greater than 10 so here if we select m is equal to m is equal to 11 then then the, the distance between sequence and uh, limit is less than 0.1 for every n greater than or equal to 11 okay so after uh, okay if we skip the first 10 terms after the 10 terms the every term uh, every uh, distance between each term and the limit is less than 0.1 if n is greater than or equal to 11 uh, you can check also if we select n which is less than 11 what happen here if we select n is equal to 2 then 1 by 2 minus 0 is equal to 0 0.5 and less than 0 0.1 this statement is what false this inequality is false why because we select n which is equal to 2 which is less than 11 and therefore this condition is what false but if we select any n which is greater than or equal to 11 in particular if we select here n is equal to 20 then 1 by 20 minus 0 is less than uh, is less than 0 0.1 this that is 0 0.05 less than 0 0.1 if we if we solve this 1 by 20 then it is 0 0.05 less than 0 0.1 this inequality is what true why because we select n which is greater than or equal to 11 and therefore if we select any n which is greater than or equal to 11 then the distance between sequence and limit is less than 0 0.1 and therefore uh, uh, there, uh, okay, 
so for this epsilon in part to epsilon equal to 0.1 we obtain a positive integer m similarly if we um, if we take the second uh, epsilon take here epsilon is equal to 0.2 then we want to select a positive integer m which is greater than 1 divided by 0.2 that is we want to select a positive integer m such that which is greater than 5 so you can select here m which is greater than 5 that is you can select 6 7 8 but after uh, after that uh, m value of m the distance between the sequence and limit is less than 0 0.2 for every n greater than or equal to m where m is positive integer greater than 5 and therefore and therefore uh, okay and therefore uh, uh, we can say that the sequence uh, 1 by n okay converges to 0 in particular if we take here epsilon is equal to say 2 epsilon is equal to 2 then then we want to select a positive integer m which is greater than 1 by 2 that is that is positive integer sorry positive integer m which is greater than 0 0.5 so here you can select any m positive integer m which is greater than point, uh, 0 0.5 so in particular you can select here m is equal to 1 so you can check the each uh, the distance between each term and limit is less than 2 for every n is greater than or equal to 1 that is each term of this uh, each term of the sequence and the distance between each term of the sequence and limit l is less than 2 for every n greater than or equal to 1 so for any epsilon greater than 0 we are, we are able to determine a positive integer m such that the xn such that the xn minus l is less than epsilon for every n greater than or equal to m and therefore we can say that the given sequence xn the given sequence xn is converges to what is converges to 0